Good morning, everybody. How are you today? I'm doing great. I'm just finishing up my bowl of cereal. Somebody is, uh, somebody's visiting with me. Are you interested in my cereal? Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, no, nobody wants to see that. Mm, sorry. <laughs> She's being a little you-know-what. I think you just saw a picture of it. Um, yeah, so how are you guys? Sorry. Finishing my cereal. Got my tea, which is over here. <sighs> it's, actually, it's actually quite early. It's just turned at 9 o'clock, and I've already woken up, taken a shower, checked on my Animal Crossing, because that's just what I'm doing right now. I'm in the process of rebuilding my whole entire island. Um, I'm building, um, I'm moving everybody's houses. I know if you're not an Animal Crossing person, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but I'm moving everybody's houses. And I'm, I made an, an orchard, like a fruit orchard. Um, I put some inclines up so you can get to the higher cliffs without having to use a ladder. So, oh, hey, hey. She's just being, she just came in. She was out all night and it was cold. She must have somewhere she goes because it was cold last night and she was out all night. Anyway, I haven't picked up the camera in a few days. I'm just kind of just, I don't know, just what is there to do? You know, I'm just feeling, feeling life out right now. Um, Try not to watch the news, but also wanting to know still what's going on. Um, you know, I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear the bad stuff, but then I also know that it's, it's still bad out there. Um, people are wanting to get out of the houses. I don't blame them. I mean, I, I understand that. I tell Jason periodically, like, I just want this to be over. Please, can this be over? But it's not. It's not going to be. Not going to be over for a while. It might not ever be over. So this is this is life right now, I guess, guys. I'm wearing a pink shirt today. I don't. I'm not like a pinky dinky do person. I don't really do a whole lot of pink. Um, my mom actually bought this shirt for me though for Christmas one year, and um, it was hanging in my closet this morning, and it actually matched the pants that I'm wearing. I'm wearing just. I'm wearing a pair of um, just these kind of like 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 my slippers. These are kind of like really soft leggings. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. If you're a guy, and most likely you are, because I don't know, we have lots of guys watching this channel. Lots of guys watching a mom channel. <laughs> I think it's cute, and I love you all. Um, but anyway, if you're a guy watching this, you have no idea how soft these are. Like. Well, since you can't leave your house, go out and get yourself a pair of leggings. Just call them meggings, okay? They're for men. And just wear them, and you'll just absolutely... Even the boys will be all... I'll be like, feel these, and they're like, ooh, those are so soft. I'm like, you want a pair? And they're like, no. But, but anyway, they do actually... There's a there's a line of leggings called LuLaRoe, and I actually have a couple pairs of those. And they actually do make some that were for boys. Um, but I know uh, Bryce Lee, uh, he lives in Hawaii. They're a, a family that used to vlog. And he, he had some, and uh, he looked adorable in them. Maybe for a younger boy too, but I don't know. But if you're a man and you want some nice soft, you know, pants, get some leggings. Other than that, I don't know what to tell you. So, um, I was, I'm kind of disappointed because yesterday, I mean, it's, it's been, okay, so the weather's been great. Um, a little bit cooler than I like it, but still pretty good. I mean, I've been out in the sun, um, which I absolutely love. Jason and I bought those chairs upstairs and we use them pretty much every day and I get the boys out there too. I try to have them, um, go out for like half an hour each day and just get some sun. Yeah. Um, because they don't do a whole lot of that. 
and um, today was actually supposed to be another sunny day, but it's cloudy and it's chilly. It wasn't even 50 degrees when I got up this morning, which is weird for May, right? It's supposed to be, well, not maybe up north, but like in the south here. Um, it's usually a, a lot warmer. But anyway, um, but today is the last day of that. After today, it's going to get extremely warm. I'm talking like, I'm talking like almost 90 degree warm. Good thing I was done with that, huh? Was that, oh, was that good? <laughs> she's so funny. The boys are still sleeping and they're not letting her in. And she's not very happy about that. She goes upstairs and she meows. Oh, there's one in the back there. He's been rough lately, guys. He's been really rough. Um, he's having a really hard time getting up and down. Not really eating as much as he normally does. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just, I, I feel really bad. You can tell that he just doesn't, he's just not himself, you know. Mm. Which cup? Oh, today's my Animal Kingdom cup. That's so there, so some Disney parks are, are starting to open. And that's a good sign. But what they're doing is uh, the Disney executives are watching to see what happens with, I think they opened Shanghai Disney. And they're going to watch and see what happens before they make any decisions on any of the other Disneys. So basically, I hate to say this, but the people in Shanghai are kind of the experiment, you know, guinea pigs to see, well, if they can go in and not have a huge outbreak, then maybe, you know, it's safe to do other things too. So I guess that's all, that's all I'm going to do at this point is, you know, things can open up. The only thing that worries me is if like something opens up and people are forced to go to work, they don't want to go to work because they're so afraid. Say, say for instance for me, like if, if I had a job that I needed to go out of the house, I would really be nervous to do that because number one, I just, I have an anxiety disorder. This whole thing makes me super anxious. Number two, um, I have a child who, you know, could get extremely, you know, who, who could really, this could really do a number on, um, you know, I'm seeing other children that are getting this and it's causing symptoms that are very scary when you have a heart defect. It, it tends to affect that area of a child. And I mean, he's almost 16, so yeah, he's still a kid, but is he still a child? Will it still affect him? Will it affect him like an, an adult? Will it affect him like a kid? That's the biggest question. I think what they're, they're, they're saying that younger kids are getting what what's appears to be like Kawasaki disease, which I don't know a whole lot about. And, um, and that's the thing about Jaden is he's gone through puberty. And so I'm wondering if he would get affected like a kid or an adult. Um, I mean, either way, it, it's still, it's still stinky. I mean, nobody wants to get this, this illness. You could be sick. I've seen some people that have had it for a month and they're just so sick. And then you'd rather those people who are asymptomatic too, which are even scarier because they, they walk around, they don't know they have it, you know? Um, so anyway, like I was saying, with things opening up, yeah, there's a lot of people that want to get back to work, but there's also a lot of people that don't want to get back to work, not because they don't want to work, because they're afraid. And that's the only thing that stinks about this whole thing. Um, so, I don't know, guys. I just hate this thing. I hate it so bad. I hate what it's doing to everybody. And I've seen such a divide amongst my own friends. That's my these videos uploading onto my computer as I'm doing this. It's so weird. I see such a huge divide, even among my friends. I have 
some friends that are over there saying, eh, this thing is a whole hoax, and then other people are like, no, stay in, you know, I, I don't want to get sick. So there's a complete divide. Some people, you know, some are extremely afraid of it, and then some of them are like, it's a fake, it's not even happening. So it's such a huge divide. And I'm kind of in the middle and, you know, I, I don't really talk about it a whole lot on my Facebook because I don't choose sides. All I know is this thing is out there and it's, it's destroying people's lives and that's, that's no joke, you know, and that's not fake. It's, it, that's truth. It really is. For every person out there, you know, that's lost somebody to this, there's a family, there's loved ones, there's a life behind every one of those fatalities and gosh it's so it's so horrible it's so horrible anyway back to the good news it's gonna warm up I'm gonna hit my pool which I'm very excited to do um, yeah I love the pool I actually uh, turned the heat down because it was gonna be like this I wasn't gonna use it but I think I think what's today Today's Wednesday, by the way. So, tomorrow's supposed to be warm, but not exactly sunny. But beginning on Friday, we got 82, 87, 86. Yeah, I'm gonna turn my pool heat up, because I don't like swimming in cold water. I know, it sounds weird, like, then why go swimming? Well, because that's just how I like it. I like the water to be lukewarm, so that it's cool to the touch. But not so that you stick your toe and you're like, mm -hmm. you know. I remember those days when I was a kid, we had it in a broad ground pool. It was freezing. And I used to put my, my feet in, and then I'd get down to my knees. And then I'd get a little bit further down to that, you know, that little tricky area. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Once you get past that, then usually it was pretty okay. But just get into that area. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I've been blabbing away. Hopefully not boring you guys too, too much. Um, I did get some hair dye. I'm going to dye my hair. I'm going to get rid of these grease. And I think that's all I got. The boys are going to be doing, they don't have to do their year-end testing this year, which is yay. They have decided to, to school throughout the summer. We'll see how that goes. Um, we're going to take off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And then they're either going to do school Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Tuesday and Thursday. They don't want to stop. Oops. So I think that's amazing. Um, but yeah, we got some. Uh, but I do have a test that I want them to do. It's a reading test. I'm trying to get them caught up. Um, and I need to make them a transcript, which I have no idea how to do. I have no idea how to make a transcript. But I need to make a transcript of this year. And. Um, well, that's all I got for schoolwork. Um, we'll see if we can get the boys on later. But until then, I think that's it. So, um, yeah, let me know how you're doing. Always leave me a comment below. I do read them. Don't always respond. Some days I just, I read the comments and I'm happy that I get comments. I love the comments. Absolutely love them. I love reading through them. Some days I just have no idea what to say though. You know, there's only so many times you can just be like, thank you, or, you know, oh, that's awesome. Like, I, I, I do love it. I do love it. Don't get me wrong. Some days I can go through the comments and comment on everything and be like, oh, yeah, I got an answer. And then some days I read the comments and I'm like, I don't know what to say. Um, it just depends on my mood, I guess. I just, some days I just don't really have a whole lot to say. That's usually the days I don't pick up the camera. But I know I'm going to go through the comments right now and see if I can pick up a few comments, but if I don't read your comment, if I don't answer your comment, I did read it. I trust me, I do, I do read the comments. I did, that pro that problem did get fixed with the comments too, where I couldn't comment. That did get fixed. So, um, yeah, I'll go over and I probably should upload a video too. It's been a few days. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. Hey guys, what are we up to? Jesse, what? what are you up to? What, what are you up to? Uh, we are doing what? 
Uh, we are doing a, uh, like a test kind of thing. Yeah. And it's on reading. And they are doing a test. How is it so far? Fine, I oh, have you done anything so far? Yeah. What question you want? I see on page 16. Oh, yeah. You on the same page as him? No. No? Okay. He's on page 15. Oh, I haven't done this. It's funny, you guys are all chitty chatty boxes, and as soon as I turn the camera on, you don't talk about anything. That's because we were talking to each other when the camera's here. We're just like, I mean, you guys are here, so I have to say something to you, right? Yeah. Hi. Okay. Your eyes look really blue at this angle. Let me see. Ooh, very blue. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. When are we going to do a uh, my first shaving video? Well, we don't have a shaver, so. I guess when we get one of those, then, then we can. Okay, do so if we get you a shaver, we'll do a, my first shaving video. Fine. What kind of shaver do you want? Do you want a razor or do you want electric? Electric. Okay. So the boys have requested omelets for lunch which is something that they just recently started creating. But that's okay, because omelets are good. Omelets are good for you, and they're easy to make. And they're not that easy to make. I don't know how to make one. Well, you're gonna learn right now, because I'ma taught you. Um, what kind of cheese did you guys want? Do you want the, like the Mexican cheese? Whatever one you did last time. Yeah, what one did you do? The other time, the other two times they made them. Uh, mm, oh, I didn't know I had this cheese in here. I've got American. What am I getting in here? I got all kinds of stuff in here that I don't even know I have because I don't open these drawers. I've got hot dogs. Wait, is this not very charity? Have these been open? No. Um, I don't think I have any more of that other cheese, guys. What? Whoa, what was that? Uh, no, look at I'm looking through here. I don't, oh, right here. Smozzarella. 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 Buy this. It's got my address on there. You guys don't need to know my address. Is this still right. good? Wait, what month is it? Five? Yep. Yeah. 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 It's me. So, um. This is May 31st. It was almost so, almost Got some anymore. mozzarella cheese from the Lion King. Got some large eggs and some milk. Now, what I want you to do is um, actually, well, ah, ah! I got the stuff over here for, for dinner for later. We're going to have some, well, Jason and I are going to have spaghetti. The boys are just going to have plain pasta because that's what they do. Um, all right, so get a bowl. Get the bowl. Which one? You can get more. I always use the, the silver bowl. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. And Early then. This for ice cream. Yeah, I know. I use the little white bowls for ice cream. Oh, I didn't. You know, <laughs> I made tacos last night and I forgot to uh, wash off my stove. So, it's gross. I know I forgot to do something. I have this perfect little omelet pan. I, it looks huge on camera. It's not though. It's actually small. small. See, right? But look on the camera. It looks huge. Oh, yeah, it looks big. I have this really giant pan. Anyway. That's really small. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab three eggs. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna crack them. Okay, where are the eggs? Right there. Oh, I know they're not right there. They're right here. Help me. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. I'm just kidding. Okay. 
Oh. That wasn't meant to be. Did you get any shells in there? A little bit. No. No, I don't think so. Ender. What's that? No, it's just part of the egg. Okay. Ew. It's like membrane. All right, I got this too. Don't do it right there. I'm going to the next one. I I want to make sure I want to pull back into it. Good. That one was much better than Jaden's. See, this is going to be the best one that we've all done. Right, this is going to be the best egg cracking you've ever seen. Oh, look at that. That's a nice crack. And then ready? They're better. Look at and look at Okay, who did look the best? It. These are two tries. So. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna put a little bit of milk in there. Okay, how much? Um, just a just a little bit. <laughs> like how much? Like how much? Okay. Four. You're doing it all wrong. It's fine. Uh, okay, that should be good. And get um get the the whisker. No, nope. turn around. In that one. Yep. Right there. It's right there. there is? Yes. This is supposed to be on like a. Yeah, I know. You can put it on. You you can put it on um the the blender thing. It'll. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. It's all on the wrist. What is my mm -hmm. supposed to be doing? Yeah, whipping it. Whip it good. Do 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 do. Dun, dun. Whip that egg. Andrew, what are you doing? It's like right here. Good? Okay, so I'm gonna grab some crunchy crotch uh, butter. Sometimes I use real butter, but we're running low. So. And I just kind of melt that on there. Just melt it, melt it, melt it, melt it. Well, it's kind of a lot. Well, if it falls out. It's not going to fall out. Because I'm skilled. Skilled? Yo, bro. I got the skills. I got skills. They're multiplying. And I'm losing control. All right. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take this. Okay. Take that. Hurry up. What do I do? Um, all that you can just go like this before that butter starts to burn. Oops. Yeah. Okay, pour it in there. Right now. Quickly, quickly. Yep. Okay, just put the bowl off to the side so I can use it when I make mine. And then you're gonna sprinkle some mozzarella cheese on the top. See, this pan is like the perfect size. See, it's like the size of my hand. It's perfect size for an omelet. Yeah, you're gonna just spread some of that, however much you want, on there. Of course, you usually do. Uh, a couple handfuls. Yeah, just spread it around. If you think you need more, you can do more. I don't even know how much cheese. You can hear our lawn guys, our lawn crew is here. It's up to you. Do you want it extra much. cheesy or extra sneezy? I don't know how much is normal. How much do you normally put in? That's about it. Okay. Yeah. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna let the egg cook. And I have this here. I need a new one of these. This thing is all melty. So see how that, and then you're gonna like let the sides cook. Cause if you try to flip it now, it's too liquidy. And that's why you don't want to add too much. If you don't, that's why you don't want to add too much milk. Because if you add too much milk, then it gets too liquidy and you can't flip it. Okay. That's the important part with the milk. But you need some milk. Right? But you definitely need milk. Some people don't put milk in theirs. I do because I just, I, I think it just makes it fluffier or something. Oh my gosh, I put baking soda in mine one day and it made it so fluffy. Baking soda makes things rise. It, it was like the fluffiest um, omelet I've ever had in my life. All right, so now I did that hard part. I kind of 
kind yeah, of. Yeah, he flipped it. Yeah. But look how big that is. Yeah, it it's is. It's a good size. I don't like that. Go like this. And there's a little bit of liquid in the middle there. So I'm just going to flip it one last time. Kind of give it a little squeezy peasy. Okay. Squeezy peasy, lemon easy. Looks yummy. It does, right? Yeah, it does. Thank you. I'm going to make one next. Me. All for you. Ayu. Me and Jaden have to Me. share. They're filling though. Jason, yeah, they're and I, filling. Jason and I usually share two, but I'm only going to use two eggs because it's just for me. But if I make a three Oops. egg omelet. <laughs> Sorry. What are you doing? If I make a three egg omelet like this one, it definitely needs someone to share with. Yeah. I'm going to have a really good appetite. Which That's I think really I have a good appetite, but then I start eating and I'm like, I'm full after like four bites. They're so good though. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is done. So what I'm gonna do now is cut it in half. And just think, Jesse, you haven't had one of these. The first time we had one was what, last week? Yeah, I was missing out on so much goodness. So. Me. Oh, what? <laughs> All right. Okay, thank you. Vlogmas, vlogmas. All right, so guys, we just had our groceries delivered to us. So we're gonna show you how we do our groceries, okay? Ergo's coming. And Ergo's coming. Hi. We're showing the vlog how we do our groceries. I thought I heard the bell. <laughs> Ergo is tired because he kept getting woken up last night because social blade kept crashing. So he's tired. It's a little cranky. So anyway, this is how we get our groceries. Um, some people say it's a little excessive. We don't care. Don't care. You gonna help me, Jason? Sure. Or, all right. <laughs> Andrew's like. What? Did you hear my message of the things that they didn't have? Yes. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> all right. So first we grab the bags. Okay, so grab the bags, come with me. Then what we do is, well, I see one that needs to be refrigerated. This needs to be refrigerated. This needs to be refrigerated. These do not. So what we do with the stuff that needs, that doesn't need to be refrigerated is, we bring it out here to the garage and we have this mat and we just kind of dump it up. And this is called the quarantine area. And we just let it sit here for a couple days. Unless we need something and then we like take it in the house and wash it. These things are actually all Yeah, clear. these things are all uh, set. Try to keep these on this side. Oh yeah, there's one in there. <laughs> oh, my ice cream's in there. Oh, there's the receipt. We need to make sure. Yeah. So we use Instacart. We've really, really loved Instacart. It's been great. We haven't had to go grocery shopping on our own. We really, really like it. But our last order, we seem to be missing things. So we, and we don't know if we got we don't know if we got charged for them or not because we didn't see the receipt. So this time we're going to check the receipt off just to make sure. Make sure you wash your hands. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to wash my hands. I also got to wash that door handle. Okay. Hey everybody. So for tonight's dinner, I am going to make, I have got some Barilla Glutinous Frias Fettuccine. Super good. Love, love, love this stuff. Um, the boys, um, just going to have regular elbow macaroni. They like it plain. And then what I'm going to do is, um, this sauce. Which is really, really good. And in the sauce, usually I either put hamburger or sausage. I'm going with sausage. So these are just like a, a, a mild Italian sausage. Um, I either like sweet or mild. I don't like hot. I do like hot. Don't get me wrong. I do. I do like hot. But my tummy does not. So if I eat like the other day, um, was it last week, We had I had made tacos. And they were really spicy and really kind of, they made your lips a burn. The boys didn't like it at all. It was too spicy for them. I loved it, but 
you know, I have um, acid reflux. And so spicy and I do not get along, even though I like it. It's just like gluten. I love gluten. I love cakes. I love cupcakes. I love bread. I love pie. I love all that stuff. But it doesn't like me. It's like everything I like, you know, ugh, so frustrating. Um, anyway, so I'm going to cut those up. I'm gonna cut those up and I'm gonna um, fry the sausage in here, drain the, the fat and whatever, and then put my sauce right in here. So I just do it all in one pan. And then one of these pans is for um, the boys and one of these pans is for Jason and I. So I'm gonna get that started. I'm gonna chop up my sausage and cook it up. I'm gonna have, I'm not gonna make them all, I'm gonna have a couple extra. And maybe I could slice some up and maybe make some like French toast in the morning. We can have like French toast and sausage. That sounds good. I don't know if the boys will eat the sausage. I think they would really like it if they, they tried it though, honestly. I think they would, but I don't know. Anyway, let me get started on that. So there's my sausage cooking up. Mmm, you guys smell that. It smells amazing. Um, doing that, filling up my pans for the spaghetti and we're on our way guys how's dinner guys good good so um the boys have plain pasta with butter and this was a garlic toast what are oh, you doing garlic bread? are you yeah there was just mm. three pieces left so i made them oh. um oh. then i've got um this is gluten-free spaghetti with sausage uh mm -hmm. really good yeah, you, it? yeah. Okay, I was going to say a few more. Yeah. No, there was three garlic breads left, so I just threw them in the oven just to bake them up because mm -hmm. I just figured, you know. These guys were just having plain pasta. I figured to give them something, a little flavor. Because it's not very flavorful. You sure does? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. What? Hey there, you little corn dogs. Oh no, we're running out. Oh no, you better edit to the shopping list. You know, this is a bad habit I've gotten into. I never used to leave pots and pans. No. I just. I'm just in a mood. I just don't feel like doing it. I have no motivation to do it. Hey, that you little corn dog. Knew who I was. They thought it was Jaden last time. Yeah, <laughs> earlier, Jaden goes, who am I? And she said, hi, Jaden. And then Jesse goes, who am I? And she's like, hi, Jaden. <laughs> like, I just answered this. Yeah. So. Your voices are, yeah. Okay. Getting very similar, yep. Yeah. So how'd you guys do on your tests? Good. Good? Yeah. What'd you get? 90. Is that, that's an What's A, What's that right? wrong? <laughs> no, I don't know, is it? It's not, 90 is an A, right? What is, what is an A? I think there's different schools of grading, uh, I guess. But I, I always thought, like, you had, like, an A minus was the 90 to, like, 93 or something uh, like that. 94. What did you get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100. You got 100? No. Whoa. I got a 50. Yeah. I got, what'd you get? A 48. A 48? What did he get? He got a 93. Was it a 93? Mm-hmm. That's not bad. Only, only three points off. Jesse. Better than me. Jesse. He's better than me. Yeah? Yeah. He, you know what, though? Jaden tests yeah, really <laughs> well. He tests really well. Because you know what you do? You second guess yourself. Because you even said one of those question that you got wrong you actually got it right and you second guessed yourself and you chose the wrong answer right well yeah but that I, it just often didn't make sense and I, I switched it. yeah I think that you just second guess yourself what are you doing but anyway yeah uh Jaden just tests really well <laughs> is she around? Is the cat around? I got a, um, those cushions probably all dried out now. So Jason actually, um, 
he power washed the whole uh, patio and furniture, so it looks really, really good. I power washed this, I power washed upstairs, and I power washed the whole pool today, too. Yeah. Still got a little more to do with the outdoor kitchen, um, yeah. but yeah, <laughs> it's been a lot of power washing. Is it working now, even though you dropped the thing in the pool? I didn't test it, but yeah, uh, it should be. I think it just set off. Just trip the circuit breaker. Oh, okay. Oh, like the power itself works. I have. I mean, it was dark by the time I finished power washing today. Yeah. So. Okay. It should be. Okay. So, how'd it go down? How was how it? Go down? I don't know. The drama. What drama? I don't know. Your baby mama drama. She's, she's been watching Teen Mom, and she thinks she's all <laughs> MTV producer now. <laughs> Like, there's no drama. Nothing How's your baby mama drama? Yeah, okay. <laughs> What's really funny is, the, like, the guys will sit down. Like, okay, so if you're a, if you're a dad, you know, and you like, you know, you're not with your your baby's mama, and you go sit down and have a beer with your friends. They're not gonna be like, so. How's your baby's mama? <laughs> you know what I mean? You guys talk about sports, computers, Bitcoin, stocks, whatever. Let's say I'll talk about You're not going to sit there and be like, so how do you feel about uh, so-and-so's new boyfriend? Or, you know what I mean? Like, that's what they do. And then you yeah. can tell it's all like, it's, all it's not it's not scripted so much. Ideas, but I did, Yeah, are... yeah. they're like, all right, I want you guys to go in there and talk about this. Yep. And it's so weird to see these big burly guys working out in the gym, and then they stop and they're like, "So, <laughs> tell me what's going on with your uh, with your girlfriend." Yeah. And it's like, no, 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 no. You know, they're in they're in the locker room and getting changed. Like, so, how's it going? <laughs> yeah. No, that's just weird. Anyway, so that's it's Teen Mom two that I'm watching. I've been watching them for seven years though, so it's like I'm. What's the difference with two and one then? There was the OGs, which was the first set of the first season of Teen Mom, and then 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 season two was Teen Mom Two. Yeah. So there's there's two. There's Teen Mom and Teen Mom Two, and there's actually more Teen Moms, but I never watched the other ones. I've only been watching these this two groups of people. So it's actually cool. But anyway, how's that corn dog? Good. Is it corny? Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's all I got. How you doing, bud? Good. Having yourself a little, a little snackadoodle? Yeah. Yeah. How's your week been going so far? Good. Good? Yeah. Okay. Good talk. Um... Oh, you gotta get your omegas. Go get your omegas. So um, Jason gives the dogs uh, omega, some I don't know, some omega things. But anyway, oh, it's Disney. I miss Disney. Do you miss Disney? Yeah, I do too. It's been over a year time. since you've gone. Yeah, that's like um, yeah. Not this is the ones. first year, like, like age, that we've never gone to Disney. Yeah, 15, because yeah. it's closed. <laughs> uh -huh. And it's probably not going to be open until after you turn 16, so that really sucks. But, um, They're all make it up. I'll make it up. What does the Omegas do? I think it helps with, like, their joints. Oh, okay. They both yeah, have lots of, like, stiffness, yeah. They're old. Mm. They're both old. So, right, Anna? Right? Together, they're 10, 20, almost 24. Mm. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm going to take these guys out to go to the bathroom. Together, they're 30. Almost Whoa, 32. Whoa, what? All right, guys. So, want to say goodnight? Well, since we're the same person, so that makes sense. <laughs> oh, my. We're not the same person. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so... Make sure you like the video if you like the video and subscribe if you like the channel. And if you don't subscribe, I'm going to take this stick right here. Just jab you in the eye. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. And uh, Jay?
Anything you want to say? No. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. I want to see that beard. I want to see that beard. <laughs>